So, Ryu has been going under the radar recently in Street Fighter 6. Even in tournaments, he's been absent, and I haven't really seen him. Like, in Tampa Never Sleeps, if you don't know what, what uh, that is, it's one of the more higher known online tournaments, and it hosts multiple games, you know, like Guilty Gear, uh, all the anime games and all the mainline games like Street Fighter and Tekken. But anyway, they post the results of top eight to usually, and I haven't seen a single Ryu on that list so far. And I don't know why, because he got a tremendous amount of buffs in the season two patch. So let's go over what they are. So first off, uh, with any Shoto, you know, their main game plan is zoning, right? Well, in Season 1, Ryu was pretty lackluster, Denjin especially. So, in Season 1, if Ryu had Denjin, he had to spend Denjin. But now he doesn't. Even with Asho and Fireballs. So now he can throw medium and light Fireballs, but the heavy version will launch the Denjin version. And also, if you do the EX version, so now his zoning became three times stronger. Now he can probably keep up with Guile. Um, he just has more options when it comes to zoning now and just more unpredictability. So, you know, you can throw some light fireballs, some mediums, you know, speed it up just a little bit, catch them off guard, and when they least expect it, boom throw an EX or even a heavy so you don't have to spend the meter. But just the fact that Ryu doesn't have to spend his dungeon now to have, you know, decent zoning and more unpredictability and even his dungeon, you know, uh, which we'll talk about here because that got buffs too. Did I say dungeon? I'm at Hasho. I feel like Ryu went from, you know, B tier to like A plus tier now. He can actually keep up with Ken and... So now let's talk about Hasho. So Hasho, Light Hasho specifically, went from minus four to minus three now. So he is safe. Oops. So he is safe on block now with Light Hasho, which makes his pressure even better because with stuff like Crouching Medium Punch into uh, Light Hasho, that's a true block string. So they have to hold that. And I can prove it just by setting Ken to Light Punch. So if I do medium, I'm gonna counter hit him and it launches him. But however, this is kind of risky because medium Hasho is unsafe at minus six. So Ryu, uh, his, his pressure game got a lot better. And one thing you can do off of this now is since it's safe, you can get a perfect parry bait. Uh, I fucked up the punish, but um, you get what I mean. You can, uh, if they try to take their turn back with a normal, you can parry their attempt and, you know, put them to the corner or do whatever as you wish. The pressure game just got 10 times better. And now let's talk about Denjin Hasho, because this just got insanely buffed combined with Crouching Medium Punch. So in season two, they gave Ryu some really good confirms now. Crutching medium kick into heavy dungeon, now combos. He used to have to spend the EX version for it to combo, but now he doesn't. And it's not even on counter hit. So you see I have counter hit off, three hits. It combos now and that gives Ryu such good uh, options to push his opponent to the corner now uh, without having to spend the extra meter. Of course, he still has to spend the meter to do the drive rush and push them to the corner, but like, he doesn't have to spend the meter for EX or anything. It's really good. It helps with his meter usage. You Again, his corner carry is a lot better now because of it. And I'm pretty sure they ended up buffing the damage for EX Hasho. Don't quote me on that. But I think he got a little bit of a damage buff this season too, which is even crazier because Ryu already hit like a truck. Another change to Ryu's zoning is they reduced the hurt buffs 
So if you don't know what a hurt box is, it's where the opponent can get hit. So you see I'm whiffing here, but if I walk a little bit forward, I can hit Ken's hurt box. So now that I got that explanation out of the way, Ryu's hurt box on his hands when he was throwing fireballs was expanded a little further than I think Capcom wanted. So they reduced it and made it harder for uh, characters like Ken to reversal through it. Here, I have a recording set up to see if I can do it. So I have to be pretty close for it to happen. So if I'm like back here now, he's just gonna get hit by the fireball. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know why that's happening. But they did reduce the hurt box on his hands, so his zoning is slightly better. It's just Ken's DP is really good and it has a long reach. But yeah, they did reduce the hurt box on his hands. You can even go look at the patch notes. So for even more combo ability with season two, they made Ryu's back heavy kick. Now ground bounce. So as you can tell, Ken kind of does a little ground bounce now. And you can follow up uh, with the DP or even a Tatsu. Okay, maybe not a Tatsu. But like a donkey kick now. And it just makes it easier to connect with a DP. So now he has new routes. So combined with something like this, he can do that and then go into level three if you want to, you know, get some more damage or KO your opponent. Um, but that's a huge combo buff for Ryu. Uh, back heavy kick does some pretty decent damage too. So using that in your arsenal of combos could be beneficial. Get that extra bit of damage when trying to KO your opponent. And one last good combo buff that they gave to Ryu and they kind of did it with Akuma first is DP into level three. So if you could tell right here when Ryu DPs Ken, Ken's pretty far above Ryu. Now in season one, if you canceled into level three, this would whiff. Ryu would literally go below the opponent and just follow and he wouldn't even hit. But they changed this, they added uh, more hit stop to the DP when canceling into level three. As you can tell, Ken does not move upward when he cancels into the level three. So this is a huge buff uh, for Ryu. So we could do something like this. And uh, I know it didn't do too much damage because heavy dungeon hot show scales. But that did quite a bit of damage for uh, a low dungeon confirm. Um, but yeah, that's all the buffs that Ryu got in Season 2. I believe he is one of the better Shotos now. Um, he might be better than Ken now, uh, but like maybe tied with Akuma. Akuma just has all the tools that you could ask for. He has a dive kick. His fireball is really good as it recovers fast and it's hard to jump in on him. Um, his damage is ridiculous, yet he can die quick himself. So, uh, yeah, if you want to give Ryu a try, uh, I, I think he's super solid now. He benefits players that have what are you waiting already for? solid uh, fundamentals. So if you're a good uh, fundamental-based player, Ryu would fit you perfectly. You could do really well with him. Uh, he won't carry you because, like I said, he's still takes fundamentals and whatnot to do well with them but if you have, have those fundamentals play. it will excel and show and you'll see so that's it for this video this is darkson signing out and i hope you take care